Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the ROC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there if you're interested in the Patreon or the merch. Okay, those links will be in the description for all of those lovely viewers and investors, crypto lovers out there. Okay, so uh, look y'all, we had a very good AMA, a very good AMA. Okay, I think it answered a lot of questions for uh, a lot of the individuals out there who are kind of, um, you know, worry of the, the airdrop situation as well as um, some other uh, questions were answered as far as the, uh, you know, certain catalysts and all of that stuff. All right. But I'm, look, throughout the week, next week, um, it is the weekend right now, but next week I'm going to do uh, multiple breakdowns of the AMA. Okay. And I have some, uh, some nice stuff lined up for you all. But look, y'all, um, after the AMA, of course, uh, we received some criticism from uh, the critics out there. And you know what? The thing is this. Uh, a lot of individuals are bashing what Saitama is doing in their first year. A lot of individuals are not trying to give, okay, uh, they're not trying to give the project. Say the, they're not trying to give Saitama a chance in the first year. They're not trying to give, say, the pro a chance in the first year. Look, this is what I'm going to tell tell you. Okay, I've been investing in crypto for a very long. I've been investing in crypto for eight years. I've seen uh, multiple processes play out. I've seen cryptos born and raised. Okay, to their max potential. All right, at least now. Okay, and what my years of experience have told me is that. It's pointless to bash a project in its first year of existence. The first year, okay, is all about, it's, it's always for these projects, it's always about building. It's always about starting up. It's always about building that foundation. Do you understand that? Do individuals understand that nothing can take off for any project. I don't care what project it is. Nothing takes off for a project in its first year. And the first year is all about building. It's all about the foundation. Why bash a project in its first year if this project is not going to give you your max returns into three to four years down the road? What's the purpose of bashing a project in its building stages? It does not make sense. All right. Look, the thing is this, if anybody out there is bashing, based on my eight years of experience, based on the processes, the multiple processes I've seen, if anybody is bashing a project, there's only one, uh, there's only like uh, one of two problems that's going on uh, or issues that this person have uh, with this project. Number one, they just flat out hate the project. Okay, or number two, they just do not understand crypto. They have no experience. They have inexperience. And what I'm saying is that a lot of inexperienced individuals are bashing crypto in their first year. Some cryptos in their first year or in their second year. You have to understand what cryptos are doing right now in their first year cannot help you right now. It cannot give you your max returns right now. Does it make sense? So if individuals are bashing uh, cryptos in their first year, okay, if they're bashing these projects in their first year, such as Seda, uh, Saitama and Seda Pro and any other projects out there that uh, have n have not been out as long but are still building uh, other platforms, okay, they just know nothing about crypto. They know nothing about crypto. Okay, if you're bashing, if anyone out there is bashing a project within its first year, then that means you expect, that means you expect these projects, okay, to take off right away. You expect them to build everything right away in one year and take off in one year. How can a, how can an app like, how can a platform like, right, like uh, Seda Pro be built in one year and take off in one year? Everything just put together just like that. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Everything is take everything is done. That's not how crypto works. When will individuals understand that's not how crypto works? The critics out there that are bashing crypto, and I'm talking about any critic, I don't care who it is. If you're bashing a, a project like Saitama in its first year, you do not understand crypto. 
okay? Why? Because number one, that tells me an experienced eight-year crypto investor who've seen processes, who know that processes take more than a year for a crypto to get where it needs to go, that tells me that individuals who are bashing these kind of projects do not understand crypto, and that tells me that a lot of you critics out there ex expect everything to take off in one year. What's the purpose of bashing these projects, okay? There's no purpose if there's like a three to four year process for cryptos. Is there a purpose, all right? There's no reason to call a crypto a total fail. How can a crypto fail, right? How can a crypto be a total fail if it take how can a crypto be a total fail in its first year if it takes three to four years for a crypto to fully get where it is at this is a guy who have seen multiple cryptos born and raised okay i invested in cardano i i knew about cardano before it launched i was doing research on cardano before it launched okay i invested in cardano on the ground floor Okay, at launch. I've been holding Cardano uh, since launch. Okay, and yes, I took some, uh, you know, I took some of my wealth, uh, 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 you know, along the way. But I've, it took Cardano four years. And people say you cannot, uh, 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 you know, compare certain cryptos. Yes, the hell you can. It's crypto. It's, it does not matter if it's a, if, if it's a meme or if it's a non-meme project. If it's a project, if it's a non-mean project with uh, potential, okay, with potential, with a nice roadmap, with potential to offer uh, something to the masses, okay, it's going to succeed if the developers uh, stay the course. If it's a mean project, okay, with potential to offer something to the masses, okay, it's going to uh, succeed if the developers stay the project. It does not matter if it's a meme or a non-mean project. Okay, the only thing that separates the cryptos, okay, are the classes that they're in. Okay, meme and non-meme. It's damn near a name. The only thing that separates it is a name. Okay, the name does not hold no water on how a crypto turns out. The developer do. Okay, the developer uh, does. Okay, the developers who have p uh, potential, who have vision, that means everything. Last time I checked, developers are the same as other developers. They're not different because uh, they're in a class of a crypto that's in a meme space or in a class of a crypto that's a non-meme. Nothing, look, the, the, look, nothing, the only thing separates it is the name. They're still cryptos. If it has a vision, okay, and it has potential, it's going to succeed. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, it's, you can't compare them in, it does not matter if it's a meme or a non-meme. It's a damn crypto. That's what it is. It's a crypto with a developer uh, behind it who has a roadmap and a, and a vision to offer something to the masses. Do y'all understand? I'm trying to break things down for individuals so individuals don't be looking crazy out here. All right? Stop letting these uneducated futters out here. And there are some very uneducated, inexperienced futters. One of the biggest futters on YouTube got a year or less of experience. And we all know who that is. A year or less of experience. How can anyone like that tell you anything? But this is an individual, me, eight years of experience. I'm telling you how a process go. A process is a three or four year process. I don't care what anybody says. Look, for the new develop for the new investors out there, if you're looking for overnight riches, you might as well kill those dreams. You invest in your crypto and, and, and you got a three to four year wait. Simple as that. There's no way around it. Why? Because I've seen two processes. I've been investing in crypto for eight years. I've seen uh, two four-year processes. My first four years, I've seen how crypto, the process of crypto works. And then my last, uh, my next, my last four years, okay, the process repeated itself. And this is coming from someone who's seen cryptos born and raised. These cryptos do not take off in their first year. Three to four years. If you don't have three to four years for you uh, investors that have been in crypto for about a couple years or you new investors, if you do not have three or four years to wait, get out of crypto, okay? Because you're not going anywhere anytime soon. You're not going anywhere fast. Get out of crypto now if you don't got three to four years, okay? And the way regulation's coming, that might be pushed up. 
Shoot, it might, you might got three to five years right now, four to five years right now with regulations. I'm speaking on experience from the non-regulated era, okay? So stop letting these individuals uh, tell you that these cryptos are supposed to take off, okay, in, in, uh, in one year or they're bashing. If you're bashing a crypto in its first year, you do not understand crypto, okay? Say Tama right now, with, with Seda Pro, they're they're damn near uh, j they're fresh out of the first year. What can this what can this platform? They're in the building stages right now. Do you understand that they're in the building stages in the first year? They're right where they need to be at. In the second year, and then in in the third year, come talk to me. In the fourth year, come talk to me. Uh, that that Seda Pro is going to be on a whole nother level, and that Seda Pro. Uh, if if the developers stay the course, they're going to take competition from Uniswap. They're damn. They're going to smash on Pancake Swap. Okay, they're going to smash on both of them. I'm telling you, three to four years. If you're bashing cryptos in this first year, you do not understand crypto because you do not understand the process. And these uneducated fudders cannot tell you what you need to know because they don't even have experience. Some of the main fudders out there only got. Uh, I, I would say at, at max, two two year, maybe a year and a half. Everybody else is below that. They got like a year or less. What can they tell you? They've never seen a process. I've seen a process. They have no idea how crypto works. Okay, when I was investing in projects like Cardano, like I said, I don't even know where those fudders were at. They weren't, they weren't even on YouTube. They probably weren't even in crypto. Okay, I've been doing this before they got into crypto. All right, so like I said, y'all, get properly educated. Okay, get properly educated. Stop listening to these uneducated fudders. Look, if you're thinking about following someone, ask them how long have they been in crypto, okay? Before you follow them, ask them how long they've been in crypto, all right? So um, I wanted to make this video, and like I said, y'all, it, it, it makes no sense to, to, to talk uh, crap about uh, Seda Pro and Saitama right now. They're fresh out the first year. They It cannot do nothing for you right now. These projects and returns cannot do nothing for you. Why complain about something that's not going to come to you until three to four years later? If you do not have three to four years, get out of crypto now. Go find another investment. All right? There is no such thing as overnight riches. Okay? So I wanted to make this video. And remember, y'all, Every now will be history tomorrow. Okay, you either have patience in this crypto investing space or you lose in the end. And please don't be a loser. And remember what I said, it's three to four years or nothing. Three to four years or nothing. Get out, go find, hey, go sell lemonade on, at a lemonade stand on a corner somewhere. All right, go find something else to do. Three to four years. This is my video. And I will catch you on the up and up. Howdy.